Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. It's episode 5 of season 1. I'm very excited to dive right in and see where um, the gang is heading out. Um, I mean, we've not uh, really reached the North Pole yet. It will take some time, but uh, we stopped by the island of Kyoshi, which was very exciting. I really enjoyed that. And uh, where will our adventure take us to next? Uh, God knows. But uh, I'm super excited, so let's not wait any further. Let's get right to episode 5 of season 1 of Avatar The Last Airbender. Save anyone. But I believe Aang can save the world. The King of Omashu. Omashu? King of Omashu. The Earth Kingdom, city of Omashu. Omashu, oh, nice Earth Kingdom. Here we go. I used to always come here to visit my friend Bumi. Wow. Bumi, wow. Like Very in like they have nice Indian here that don't melt. Well, let's go, Slowpokes. The real fun is Bumi's inside Earth the city. In, in the... Wait, Ang. It could be dangerous if people find out you're the Avatar. You need a disguise. So what am I supposed to do? Grow a mustache? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so itchy. How do you live in this stuff? <laughs> Great. Now you look just like my grandfather. Technically, Aang is 112 years old. Yeah. Now let's get to skipping, young whippersnappers. The big city awaits. Wow. He, he really gets into character very quickly. Hollywood, sign him on his next, next deal. My goodness. Omashu. The people here are the friendliest in the world. Rotten cabbages? What kind of slum do you think this is? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my cabbages! Just keep smiling. <laughs> just keep smiling. <laughs> just keep smiling. State your business. My business is my business, young man, and none of yours! I've got half a mind to bend you over my knee and tell you your Name's Bon Zhu! Pippin Petal Opsicopolis! The third! <laughs> These are my grandkids! Opsicopolis, nice to meet you. You responsible young lady. See that your grandfather stays out of trouble. Aye, aye. Enjoy your mushroom. You're a strong young boy. Show some respect for the elderly and carry your grandfather's bag. Hey! Good idea! <laughs> I don't know. My goodness. Dude. Land of Egypt. Aladdin's world. <laughs> For sliding herself. Look around. Oh, sorry, for sliding what himself. Do you see? The world's greatest super slide. <laughs> Boomy, you're a mad genius. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're in Disney now. Aww. One ride first, but now that I'm here, I'm starting to have seconds. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Dude, I'd, I'd ride that. Oh. It. 
My god! Gravity works really weirdly here. I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> Brick is not stopping. Ah, get out. Oh no, not Oh! Not your cabbage! I'm gonna pay for this! Two cabbages, please. Oh dear. Find yourself in trouble all the time, eh? Oh, boomy for green. Whoa. These juveniles were arrested for vandalism, traveling under false pretenses, and malicious destruction of cabbages. Is that Boomy? Well, Only the king can pass down judgment. What is your judgment, sire? That awfully looks like Boomy. A feast. <gasps> huh? I saw I thought I was Boomy, you know. Not gonna lie, it looks exactly the same. The eyes. Thanks, but I don't eat meat. How about uh -huh. you? I bet you like meat. Mm. Mm. Is it just me? From? I'm from Kangaroo Island. <laughs> oh, Kangaroo Island, eh? Australia. I hear that place is really happy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? It was pretty funny. It was. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> There's an airbender in our presence, and not just any airbender, the Avatar. <laughs> now, what? Okay, fine. You got us there. <laughs> okay, you caught me. I'm the Avatar. So, good work, everybody. Love each other. Respect all life, and don't run with your spears. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Whoa. You can't keep us here. Let us leave. Immediately. We're in serious trouble. Let, Let us leave. leave. What was that? Avatar will fade. Take them to the refurbished chamber that was once bad. <laughs> Let us leave. That was a good one. Oh, Momo, I need you to find Appa and bust us out of here. Go ahead. Go on, boy. Get up. Sokka? Katara? Whoa, man. My friend. You passed the first test. Really? Well, yeah, not one of the deadly tests. The real challenges are much more uh, challenging. Yeah, I bet. So I will give your friend some special souvenirs. Those delightful rings are made of pure genomite, okay. also known as creeping crystal. It's a crystal that grows remarkably fast. By nightfall, your friends will be completely covered in it. Terrible fate, really. I can stop it, but only if you cooperate. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's already creeping! I'll do what you want. Hmm. Yo, that, that sounds... All we blame. <laughs> there it is. Would you mind fetching it for me? WWE's man. Well, what did you think? Gravity works well here. That's right. Keep diving head in. I'm sure it will work eventually. <laughs> Stupid boy. <gasps> nice! Enjoy your lunch. I want my friends back now. Show me. Daddy wants a kiss from Flopsy. Come here, Flopsy. <laughs> 
<laughs> what are you, man? Oh, what a good boy. Oh, look at him. He wants cuddles. He wants a belly rub. Come on. I'm ready for the next challenge. <laughs> See, he's got the teeth missing. Because I, I really thought it was boomy. And as a special treat, you may choose the teeth. your opponent. Sorry. <laughs> Who's this? Who's that? Kratos? So you're saying Kratos. I choose Kratos. Choose you. Ooh. Wrong choice. What did you choose there, babes? What did you? But I'm the most powerful earth bender you'll ever see. Ah. Uh, Can I fight the guy with the axe instead? Kratos! You might need this. Thanks. Yeah. Typical airbender tactic. Avoid and evade. I'd hope the avatar would be less predictable. Did someone leave the windows open? It feels a little drafty in here. Are you hoping I'll catch a cold? Okay, that was creepy, man. Come on. Going to get me from way over there. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! Well, he is the earth bender. Dash it. this one question and I will set your friends free. What is my name? Boomy! How am I supposed to know his name? Think about the challenges. Maybe it's some kind of riddle. I got it! Yeah? He's an earthbender, right? Boomy! You know, because of all the rocks. No! Okay, keep trying the question the same way I solved the challenges. As you said a long time ago, I had to open my brain to the possibilities. <laughs> Boomy, here Yay! <laughs> oh, oh. Good to see you. you haven't changed a bit. Oh, Boomy. Uh, over here. Little help. <laughs> Genomite is made of rock candy. Delicious. So this crazy king is your old friend, Boomy? Who are you calling old? Okay, I'm old. <laughs> Why did you... First of all, it's pretty fun messing with people. True. <laughs> but I do have a reason. To the world by defeating Fire Lord Ozai. Ozai. Much from the Fire Lord. 
And when you do, I hope you will think like a mad genius. <laughs> sure thing, Boomy. And you'll need Momo, too. Thank you for your wisdom. But before we leave, I have a challenge for you. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Cabbages. <laughs> <My> cabbages. <laughs> oh, nice! I loved it. This is my favorite episode by far. This is the uh, yeah. This was my favorite. I really liked the resemblance of Boomy and how he's just completely like it do, he does not have any sort of changes to his features he's missing a tooth his eyes are the same almost well his eyes look like a little orange when we saw it first but it's all the same like the same kind of uh chaotic challenges and the slide and the mad genius and yeah it was so nice i like the little uh subtle references and hint here and there but that was very nice um and uh we got to see um this king the earth kingdom um very beautiful of course very green i love that his friend is called boomy that's very nice um and we saw that chris those crystals are edible which is also great and uh yeah so now what he did say is very important that uh lord ozo was it you also like to um defeat the fire nation lord ozo ozo i think was the name but yeah, so he'll need to master all the elements and uh, he'll, he needs, his, he has a long journey ahead of him essentially and he can't do it alone without his friends and well, yeah, of course, that's the whole point of this entire expedition. But anyway, it was fun. I really enjoyed this episode. I think this is my favorite by far and I'm very excited to see what episode six is about and uh, continue from there on because it looks like, I like that this is like a journey of us seeing him almost making acquaintances meeting old friends and at the same time just sort of like learning more and more so it's like every place that he visits is like something that he's learning and he's getting like he's training in that aspect and it's very nice i i like the the message behind all this but yeah anyways i'll see you guys in episode six till then take care have a great day and don't forget to subscribe bye